Thank you, sir. Good to see some familiar faces. Hi, Caesar. Good to see you again. Hello. Hi, Caesar. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good evening. How's everything going? So far, so good. We can't complain. Good. <laughs> good. Hello, everyone. Hi, Baranak. How are you? How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Good. That's my you. favorite guest. <laughs> oh, hello, Ina. <laughs> How are you? Great to see you. Great to see you too. <laughs> see you in a bit think... face to face. No worries. Yeah, pretty soon. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Diana. Good to see you again. How are you? Hi, Raphael. Hello, everybody. I'm good. Hi, Thank Diana. You. Hi. How are you? It's good Hi. to see you again. Good to see you. I think it was this time last week, Diana, that we were talking. Was I think it was Friday. It was. It was. Yeah. Hey, Alemu, how are you? I'm doing great. Hello, Rafael. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, my friend. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Hi, Stuart. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, Jennifer. Good. Good. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, Rafael. Hi, Baranak. I'm glad you could join. <laughs> it's fine. All right, we are going to wait about three more minutes. Who's got the big plans for the weekend? Anyone? <laughs> Moving house, Nicole. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm cleaning. That's my big plan. So now I understand what, why we have many females recruited to DBA program. If Stuart does all the interviews in this nice tie, I'm joining. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my summer okay. tie. Ina, this is my summer tie. Here it's finally summer, speaking of which. Oh, unfortunately, Viola, it's not in the UK. We've gone back to being wet and horrible unfortunately so so sorry i'll i'll try to send you some sunshine please do <laughs> actually today is our holiday in iran Fridays are yeah. holiday in Iran. It's so a Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday's a work day, Baranak, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How, how's the situation? Are you still in the logistic, logistics business? Logistic business? Was that, I think you were, was it in ports or something? You'd had some involvement in the past? Uh, no? I could yeah, be wrong. The, the previous class that yeah. I uh, actually somehow... Um, incorrectly uh, you know the uh, registered for that i'm the uh, student for this semester you know <laughs> all right okay it's too soon for me <laughs> okay okay don't worry don't worry this is the right time the time yeah, is now the, right time. the time is now Hi, Tom. Hello. How are you doing, Stuart? Not too bad, sir. Not too bad. How about yourself? Haven't seen you for a while? Yeah, how are you doing good. Got yeah. lovely weather here today in uh, in the Philadelphia area. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, good afternoon, everyone, and good evening. Welcome to our DBA What to Expect session on behalf of the U.S administration, the U.S. Board of Directors, the U.S. faculty and staff, 
it is a pleasure to have you join us today um, and be part of our session uh, today, August 13th. What is the purpose of the What to Expect session? The purpose of the What to Expect session is for you to understand and learn what it will look like the first upcoming weeks and prior to you by embarking on this journey for your DBA program. Also, it is important for you so you can get to know some of your classmates, to get to know some of your faculty, to get to know your DBA director, and overall get to know more about the UBIS family. So on that note, I am going to start talking about UBIS and what is why we love UBIS. So what's so special about UBIS? UBIS is professional. UBIS, the University of Business and International Studies, is committed to increasing the quality, affordability, and access to tertiary education around the globe. In this institution, we aspire to create, we aspire to build and enrich lifelong prosperity for the common global citizen by inspiring and advancing self-determination through education. We're also dynamic. It is important that we provide you with a quality education that will prepare you, or will help you market yourself better, or will help you uh, grow in your professional career. But it is important that we also keep our programs uh, designed to fulfill the actual demand of global businesses and institutions. Not only the current job market, but also in the future. So besides providing you with the acad acad academic excellence and that quality education, we are also innovative and this rapidly changing marketplace and what the future may bring. We're also caring. We offer a friendly environment where students not only get to learn from the faculty, will have the opportunity to learn from each other, network with each other, and be mentored personally by our professors. Our classes are interactive with a live discussion and discussion questions from people from all over the world, where we try to offer our students a personalized tailored curriculum to feed their specific needs. Whether you're doing it through our global campus or traveling, or you are visiting any of our locations in Geneva or Barcelona. Also, you with simulation. We believe we are a family-oriented university, a family-oriented boutique university, where we believe is important as, uh, to have our students as part of our family from members that come from the five different continents from all over the world. We have a diverse, diverse student body, a diverse staff, a diverse faculty, and all our different offerings, whether it is our global campus, our Barcelona location, or our Geneva campus. We embrace globalization and we live in globalization and the world coming to you. And we hope to develop life love relationships, not only again, providing you with a quality education, but also networking and providing you this opportunity to learn from each other. UBIS overall is a global university. Next, I would like to introduce for those that don't know him, uh, my friend, or, uh, Dr. Stuart Kill. Thank you, Raphael. Um, it's a pleasure to have this opportunity to, to meet with you all today, guys. I know that some of us have met uh, before, but I'd just like to kind of say a few words about the DBA. Um, so, uh, you know, the UBIS, uh, and particularly UBIS, UBIS is, uh, is a university based in Geneva, Switzerland, but we've got a truly global um, uh, uh, ambitions. And we're developing at the the time of, of this talk, we are developing partnerships in Central Asia, Southeast Asia, Africa, the Middle East, all over the world. Um, our faculty are multinational, they're multilingual, and have graduated from some of the best universities in the world. We're very fortunate to have three faculty members on the call today, and I'll just introduce yeah, you to them. So on the one hand, we have Dr. Viola Krebs. Now, Viola is our uh, academic dean, and she will say a few words after myself. So um, I'll be able to hand over to her after I finish speaking. Um, but I'd like to, to bring in two other faculty members. So um, 
when we think about our faculty, you know, they're quintessentially, uh, we have kind of two kinds of faculty. We have the faculty of the based in Geneva, um, amazing faculty. Um, and then we actually have our global faculty. And as the, the university globalizes, we're able to draw upon faculty from all over the world. And I'd like to introduce two uh, examples of that kind of faculty today. So I'm going to introduce Dr. Antonina Santalova. So Antonina, would you like to say hello? Oh, thank you very much. You're absolutely I would. Hi, 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 everyone. And uh, welcome, welcome to you and today's session uh, as well. So yeah, as a faculty member, I should say that that's an absolute pleasure uh, to work with all of you, in particular, if you decided to become the DBA students. Uh, yes, I would like to reinsure uh, you know, the statement that it is about university, cross-cultural, quite inclusive. So yes, please, please do join us. So um, Antonina is uh, visiting faculty at UBIS, but she's also um, faculty at the University of Oxford and she's a professor at the university. Um, and I'd also introduce to, like to introduce one of our other global faculties. So this is uh, Professor uh, Sean Jasso. Sean is a graduate of the Peter Drucker School of Management at Claremont University, and he's very kindly agreed to come in and say a few words. Sean, would you like to say hi? Thank you, Stuart. Good to be with you all. Uh, delighted to get to know you soon. I'm right here waiting for you in the classroom, the global classroom, as you can see. Um, just me in there right now. But this is a great, exciting time for you. The doctorate is a big, powerful investment. Uh, this is really the time for you to leverage that opportunity through UBIS. Um, and we're looking forward to working with you. It's going to be an exciting, rigorous, uh, steep climb. But once you ascend to that, uh, that's why you call get called a doctor. Thank you, Stuart. Good to be with Thank you. you. Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. And thank you, Antonina. So at UBIS, we pride ourselves as being a truly student-centric institution, which Rathis has mentioned, um, with a forward-facing curriculum, up-to-date teaching and learning platforms. And most importantly, at UBIS, we firmly believe that education can change lives. And this is really at the core. This is the ethos of the university. This is belief is reflected in our mission statement, which states that UBIS is committed to increasing the quality, affordability, and access to tertiary education across the globe. And UBIS aspires to create, build, and enrich lifelong prosperity for the common global citizen by inspiring and advancing self-determination through education. So this is a really powerful message, but it's something that has been thought about, synthesized, discussed really at the, the very higher echelons of, of our management board and then distilled and, and, and sent down through the whole university. Uh, and it's something that as faculty and members of the university, we all subscribe to. So um, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Stuart. Next, uh, we have our vice president of academics who unfortunately is at an accreditation visit and he couldn't join us. So Dr. Uh, Roga Maiwad is a vice president of academics here at the University of Business and International Studies. Um, very global international background. He's originally from Lebanon, resides in Barcelona, Spain, and speaks about four languages, English, Spanish, French, and also Arabic. Um, he also a PhD um, and teaches uh, several universities and business schools worldwide besides UBIS. And next we have Dr. Viola Krebs, who is our Dean um, and uh, the European Dean. Hello, um, great pleasure to see you all here. Uh, my background is diverse. I started in banking, uh, worked for the World Economic Forum, uh, international organizations, and then managed an um, organization for 15 years. I have been with UBIS for the past 10 years, started in 2012 teaching and gradually uh, got more involved and more engaged in, in uh, this very exciting university. Uh, what to say about the DBA? You know, when I decided to do a PhD, uh, as you can see from, from the uh, text here, I have a PhD in sciences of communication and um, 
uh, of information and communications from the University of Strasbourg and previously studied at the University of Geneva. And I've also been engaging in a number of research projects and um, have a set of publications um, which have come along over the years. Um, what to say about the DBA? I think, um, you know, when I in, in embarked in the project of obtaining a, a PhD as it stands, which, you know, you're focusing on, on, on the business part, so it's a DBA, but it's basically a major endeavor, I would say, but you shouldn't be scared about it. I think it's, it's, it's something wonderful, actually. It's, it's something you should do for yourself, not just because you need a piece of paper, but because it can help you grow so much. At least that's how I feel about having you know, completed my PhD. It was a project that came along um, actually alongside with my professional ex experience and, and, and activity. So I think many of you are, from what I understand, um, you know, working professionals, or, or at least you have quite a bit of, of experience already. And so connecting the, the topics you'll be choosing or the, the topic, maybe you'll, you'll start off with, with two and then narrow it down and, and kind of uh, get your hands dirty, so to speak, and then narrow it down further in order to actually be able to complete that piece of writing, which most likely is going to be the most important piece of writing you will have completed. So um, to do that, I think it's, it's important to be passionate about what, what you're going to be tackling ideally. Ideally, it should be something connected somehow either to what you're doing professionally now or what you would love to do in the future because it can be a springboard. It can be uh, a way of actually reshaping your career as well. So I think whatever your journey, whatever your reasons for getting involved uh, in, in this program and have chosen to get a DBA, I would say, you know, go for it, um, take it forward. And then even when you get discouraged, because there might be moments where you get discouraged because it's, you know, tedious and you have to find references and, and maybe you, you feel like going, I don't know, swimming instead of, of, of grinding through some references. Um, think that, that it will bring you a lot and that it is a milestone in your life, um, professional life, but also personal life. Back to you, Raf. Thank you so much, Viola. Away, Dr. Stewart, you're next. Thanks, Raphael. So, um, and I think those are very wise words from Dr. Krebs. So, you know, essentially, um, there's two real opportunities here. As, as I said, when we do our DBA um, interview with you, we actually encourage you to actually uh, ascertain or, or um, find a problem that you, your organization may be facing and use the DBA research to actually address that, pro that problem. So that's very, very, it's a very valuable uh, thing to do in terms of your, your organization. Similarly, as Viola has mentioned, maybe if you are seeking a career change in the future, this is something that will provide the foundations for that career change. So there's, there's multiple kind of benefits from attending the DBA. So just a little bit about our expectations. So what to expect as a student? Well, you know, the reality is that this is, uh, this is a doctoral degree. So it is intense. Um, you'll have to work hard. You'll have to produce. But one thing I will say is that the way in which the DBA is structured, we are there, the support networks are there through every step of the process. So, you know, you've had your interviews with me already. And just to reiter reiterate what, what I, I mentioned is that, you know, a conventional PhD, you are often spending 3.5 years or longer by yourself in a fairly unstructured, uh, in unstructured environment. And therefore it is easy to get demoralized, et cetera. With our DBA, we address that. We create a very methodical, a very logical degree that's designed to maximize your efficiency. And we will be with you through the whole process, even through the process of writing your dissertation, your supervisor will be with you through that process. So the success factors are, are very, very high. What to expect in terms of my dissertation, this is the 800 series classes, as I mentioned to you before. So essentially what will be happening, you will be producing in these classes. 
It won't be, okay, Caesar, off to the library and we'll see you in one year. You will be working through these classes and there will be an expectation that you will produce under supervision. And again, the support structures are very important. What to expect in my thesis defense? Well, you'll get to see my ugly face together with a little bit more beautiful people like Violi, our academic dean, and, and a person that's actually uh, 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 an expert in your, your subject. And you know you will go forward into the defense. It will be in the class DBA 805, um, and you will have to defend your dissertation in front of a committee of three, right? But the important thing to remember is we will not let you go into that defense unless we feel you're ready to go, to, to, to go forward. And again, to reiterate the success factors are very, very high. The relationship with, with the faculty, you've already met our faculty. They're amazing, they're global, they're multilingual. Viola can speak up to, I believe, five or more languages. You know, so when we say we speak your language, there's a very good possibility that we actually may do, do that. But again, the faculty are both academics, you know, or academic practitioners. And Dr. Krebs has been in, in business, she's been in nonprofit organizations. Uh, Professor Jasso has been on strategy boards. Myself, you know my background, so I've been both an academic and a business person as well. Uh, and um, I've talked a little bit about the faculty. And what will be the relationship with my supervisor? It will be very, very intimate in the sense that you will work directly with the supervisor to, to kind of build the actual, to construct your dissertation. Um, and as you progress through the 800 series classes, there will only be two people in those classes, that's you. And, and the supervisor. So it's it will, again, the network is there, the structure is there, the support is there. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you, Stuart. Your expectation from us and our commitment to you. Number one, the state of the art global programs that will ensure diversity with an opportunity to engage with students and audiences from all over the world. Our programs are very attractive and with the opportunity to allow you to differentiate yourself in the global job market. So basically domestic and international. We are able to develop products and services that meet the market needs uh, according to countries or specific regions. We have an advanced online program delivery platform. So for those that haven't seen a learning management system. It is fantastic and very user-friendly. We use the updated Moodle 3.9 with content provided by Cengage. What you will see at Cengage is the opportunity to take additional school certifications or take courses or flashcards or do research um, that would, again, allow you to have the opportunity to market yourself, to market yourself in, uh, in the global market. We also had the Learn Business Source, which asks us our library. You will have access to millions of journals, uh, publications, business databases, books, etc. We also have support in and outside the classroom. Support, support services that is tailored to the experience, an online career center, a skill center through Sengage International that I just mentioned, and faculty support at all times. We will personalize, uh, we will personally walk you through class to owners make sure that you understand and can take advantage of all the features and benefits of the password, all the other platforms that we have available. Last but not least, you have the opportunity to become part of a large international family, the U.S. family, with more than 20 members, uh, partnership schools, and also countries from all over the world with more than 2,000 graduates. What are expectations for you and, uh, and our, your commitment to you? So number one will be to attend our DBA orientation. This will be August 26. The time is, has yet to be confirmed, but your global admissions representative will personally reach out to you to ensure that you can attend and also to provide you with the time. It is imperative that you complete your final admission requirements because without completing the final admissions requirements, you will not receive your final acceptance letter. You will not receive your course mapping. 
and you wouldn't receive your personalized doctorate or business dissertation handbook. This is very important to have prior to starting classes or the beginning of week one, due to the fact that you need, especially your final acceptance letter, you need the UBIS credentials in order to be able to access the platform. You need the learning management system ID in order to access your UBIS email and therefore be able to access the platform. And most important, your impersonalized DBA handbook. Last but not least, you'll get um, your student ID as well. Uh, we have just come up with a new design for our student IDs. I will talk about that in a little bit, but it's actually a very exciting time and a very exciting project that we are looking forward to. But again, fulfilling all your admissions requirements ensures that you also get your student ID with that barcode to us uh, to be able to access all platforms. What are the reasons to love UBIS? The University of Business and International Studies. We have close links with uh, the corporate world. Partnerships with universities worldwide. This is something that we are continuously growing um, and universities from all over the world. Our classes are pretty small. We have an emphasis on practical experience, network with the United Nations, 1,300 plus students align online from over 30 nationalities, and the importance and the flexibility of programs that are designed for the working professional where you have the ability to work with your schedule, take a live lecture and view the recording at any time and work with your business schedule. Again, it's a program that is designed for the working professional. Next. Uh, we wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't introduce you to two or, your, two or so of your classmates. We had other students that really wanted to be here, but as I mentioned, this is a program that's designed for the working professionals. So a lot of our current students also were traveling, even though they wanted to be here for this event today. So at first, I am, we're going to play a little bit of a YouTube video with some testimonials from some of your classmates. Uh, one of them was actually in Tokyo as part, as part of the Olympics um, team in for the Dominican Republic bo female volleyball team. Um, you also get to see some people that will be in classes with you. So we'll go ahead and play the video. And then we had two testimonials from two very special guests. And then we'll continue from there. Well, actually, right now I am in Italy. I am playing the Volleyball Nations League. This is one of the most important volleyball tournaments in the world. I am almost graduating from UBC University. I'm really happy and proud of myself. Wow. Well, you know, uh, it was very difficult for me to find a university that matched my sports schedule, but uh, I decided to, I started studying in the Dominican Republic, but I traveled a lot, it was very difficult, and uh, I started to find a university that can give me a high level of classes uh, online, and uh, I just found you, it was like a message from God, and uh, <laughs> it was uh, very fascinated at the beginning because I didn't know how to do that, you know, but as I said before, I got a lot of help from them and uh, I'm really proud to be part of the university. Um, originally, I'm from Germany, so I'm born and raised in Germany, so I went to the entire schooling system in Germany. I'm now in Qatar, working for Qatar Airways as Senior Vice President of the airline. That's I must say, um, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this, um, due to my uh, profession, I must say I do fly and travel a lot, so I had the unique chance, even in times of uh, a global pandemic, to meet up with uh, some of my fellow uh, class, classmates in Philadelphia, in, 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 in New York, JFK Airport, um, so I made a lot of connections already. 
um, which is great, right? Um, that, 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 that's one part of it, but I do really enjoy working with the professors, working with, with the material and, you know, um, although challenging at times, but I really, really enjoy it. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm an MBA student at the University of Business and International Studies in Geneva. How the university has impacted my life? Well, I can talk um, a little bit more about this, but um, I will resume to what is um, the most relevant for me and what I've noticed in such a short amount of time, which is the transformation that happened to me. And I can say it is a transformation from career perspective, from a personal perspective, from a personal development perspective, because um, professors are able to deliver a lot of information and a lot of value in a short amount of time, and it is impossible, if you are a serious student, not to see the transformation that happens to you. I am currently a student in the Doctor of Business Administration program at UBIS. My advice or, or guidance would be is, you know, stay motivated, whatever you have to do, you have to make sacrifices, right? And, and that's part of the process. Maybe it's, it's not going out on a Friday night or staying up late to, to, to read, right? But that's what makes us uh, stronger as individuals and, and those sacrifices we hope right will pay off later on with employment opportunities and and skill sets that are, are will be with us for a lifelong journey my name is ruth abena i am currently a student of the university of business and international study the amazing thing i love about UBC is the flexibility of studies you can actually be a student of UBC in any part of the world anywhere in the world from anywhere in the world they have amazing professors they have flexible lecture hours and also you are so going to learn a lot because the, the modes are very very comprehensive you will just win new knowledge new experience new skills new perspectives and why not new friends thank you i apologize it was a little static i don't have it in my internet so i apologize um storming in florida where i am right now so we also have um Testimonials also um, people that can answer questions from two of our current students. I have Miss Jennifer Blagoji from Ghana who joined us um, and was accepted into our DBM program and Mr. Abertem Ribchenko who also um, joined our DBA program. So if Jennifer or Artem, if you guys have any words of wisdom or any message that you want to share with your future classmates, that'd be greatly appreciated. I guess, um, ladies first, I'll start with you, Miss Jennifer. Um, but um, do you have anything to say? Yes, thank you, Rafael. Can you hear me though? I can hear you, yes. Okay, thank you. I'm actually excited about today because I submitted my project at dawn this morning. Uh, we have a due <laughs> on Sunday, and um, it's been it's been here and there for me, but it's been really really good so far. Um, it's I should say, you know, when I came when I came into the program, I said to myself, okay, I'm going to do a DBA. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. The classes are going to be very flexible, so I'm going to still have time to do a lot of things. But you realize that once you enter, when once you start, you're actually motivated from right from the word go with your classes, your professors, and my professor last term was very good and I you know initially I had said I may not be able to join all the classes but I actually had to clear my schedule at work so I make time for the classes so do, so I don't watch the videos because I realized being in class was crucial as well you know so I started making some life changes here and there so I'm always in class so I'm always engaging with my 
fellow students. So it's been a life changer for me. Um, I'm just in my first term, so um, God speak to me, see how it goes. But I really encourage everybody, especially if you want to learn, I um, mean, you want to boost employ employability, you want to do something with your life. I think there's the platform for you. And UBIS has been great from the beginning, from recruitment to students um, engagement and interact. it's very interactive. And even with my classmates, I've gotten to know a lot of people in my class and we, we, we joke all the time about certain things. And the networking opportunities is also good. So um, in a few words, this is what I have, but I mean, you should be ready for it. <laughs> I have a full-time job. I have two kids, young kids, and I have a home to run. And it, it's not been a smooth journey, but when I look at the, what is ahead of me, the motivation is great. And the school actually wants to see you win. And that's one of the great things about UBIS. They want to make sure you win. So your professors are going to be with you. They will not leave you. That be assured of that. They are always, always, always with us. So thank you to UBIS. And um, I really hope to see you all in the coming term. Thank you, um, Rafael. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Uh, I, I appreciate that. And, uh, and, and I'm very glad that I have gotten to know you um, and, and, and see you in this journey, honestly. And I know how hard you have worked. I remember walking you through class and you had the baby crying and, 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 lo and logging into your class. So I'm very proud of you. And, and definitely, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure working with you. Yeah. Everybody knows mommy is in class now, so everybody tries to stay away now. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Thank you, Jennifer. I also have Mr. Artem Ramchenko, uh, who is also one of our current students. Artem, not sure if you're there, if you would like to give any words of wisdom as well. Good evening, good day, good morning. Uh, this is something special about the class because you have people from all parts of the world and this is a great opportunity to learn also new culture, to get to know some specifics, which is very important, especially for me, for example, as a diplomat, uh, it's very good to get to know new people, to get to know new focuses from different parts of the world. And uh, of course it is always uh, good that it's possible to catch up because uh, sometimes it's being busy uh, working. Sometimes you miss the class, but you always has an opportunity to really to, to to be focused and to know what's going on and have all needed information to catch up. And uh, also uh, from the very beginning, I was a bit. Uh, not sure, it was a bit tricky that it's just online, but actually the communication is so great between each other and um, this is the way it is unfortunately today uh, worldwide, but at the same time I would say it's an opportunity to stay tuned to, to your location, so to you save time for traveling, uh, at the same time you still run uh, your main uh, work or family or whatever uh, you're focused on. So this is also a big plus. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, we have great professors because they're uh, professionally uh, doing the class. At the same time, they're flexible and uh, always it's more uh, a friendly discussion, uh, which really makes uh, makes the class and makes the studying process much easier and more interesting. And talking about the interesting part of the class, it's always different topics, uh, which means that you really get your knowledge wider and really a possibility to, to stay in focus with the, with the world trends. And once again, uh, a good team, a really good uh, classmates, and uh, very much looking forward to know new people. Uh, and uh, just to mention that uh, I'm actually physically in Switzerland, where the school is also located partly. And uh, so the U.S. combination with, uh, with Switzerland quality, I think this is also a very important uh, part of uh, plus of this, uh, of this school. So good luck. Hope to see you uh, in the next class. And uh, thank you, Jennifer. It was good to see you again. And of course, all, all, all our professors and colleagues 
from the school. Thank you. Thank you, Artem. Uh, also, a pleasure getting 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 to know you in this process. Um, last but not least, before we go into our Q and A, as uh, Dr. Stewart has said. Um, said a lot in the past and during your meetings and during your DBA sessions, we're a Swiss university um, that's becoming global. We are a Swiss, uh, Switzerland has been our, in our heart. Our aspirations has always been to become a global university. We are growing as a school. Uh, we are re also in a process of rebranding um, and embarking in new territory. So, on that note, I proudly present you uh, our new logo. So what's going to be part of our rebranding pretty soon. Uh, the green represents sustainability and represents UBIS Global. The, the red in the middle represents Geneva, which has been our heart. We have been always uh, a Swiss university. The yellow represents a Barcelona location that just opened. And the one in gray represents the United States, which is part of our coming projects to establish a location here. So as you can see, the university continues to grow, the university continues to expand, and the university becomes more global every day, providing more opportunities to allow our students to, with this degree, to be more marketable and make more of an impact and make a difference, make more of a difference in the workplace and in the world. Uh, on that note, I appreciate your time today. Now we have some time for our Q&A session. Hopefully you will have some answers and you have a big group of people. Uh, ready and available to answer any questions for you. So on that note, we are ready for you. Please feel free to either raise your hand or you could also utilize the chat box um, and Ms. Ina will be able to read the questions and answers from there. All right, so what questions do we have? Well, I'm raising my hand, if, if I may. Yeah, absolutely, Cesar, how are you? Well, I first, you know, as you know, this is uh, my second session, uh, you know, meeting with, uh, with, with you people, and uh, it's great pleasure to know you all and to uh, listen to some testimonies, which is really great, especially from the students and the professors. And uh, I, I noticed that there is uh, also a professor, which is, uh, he's uh, Mr. Mawad Roy, he's, uh, from his Japanese also, and um, I would appreciate if I can, you know, being connected to him uh, as soon as possible because you know it's a very short time to, to take my final decision in this concern. So there are some things that I can discuss with him that uh, uh, you know he knows more the environment of the you know Middle East and Lebanon and uh, the way we we plan uh, our futures. Uh, so I would like to have a, a, a quick session with him if it's possible. Absolutely, that's definitely something we can arrange. So I will, um, I will literally right after this meeting, I will reach out to him on WhatsApp, and let's maybe coordinate something for this weekend or for Monday the latest, and then uh, and then and, and then I can be in touch with you, sister. So absolutely, um, that is something more than happy, and I know he will be happy to talk to you. In fact, he was, he was not very happy that he was that he had to meet this, but we had. Uh, he had another uh, academic commitment that, so he couldn't attend. Oh, hey, what other questions do we have? You guys are being easy on us. May I say uh, something? I, see Tom, I, know it's, I know it's Friday night, so. I see Tom who raised his hand. Thank you, Viola. Um, so hi, I'm I'm Tom Brennan. I'm so I'm both an employee as well as a, a current student in the UBIS DBA program, and <clears throat> I just wanted to let you know, like this is a top quality DBA education, and so we've got like a really diverse group of students, and we're diverse in terms of like locations and national origins, but also in like different job functions and different industries. And so you're gonna learn like a lot from your classmates as well as our 
wonderful professors and guest lectures. And I've, I've already studied with Dr. Jasso and I can assure you he's like absolutely awesome. And I've gotten to know Jennifer. Um, I'm getting to know Artem. So it's it's been a really, really good experience. And so like all of our courses are recorded just in case you're unable to attend the live session. But I will say that most of our students do like have made arrangements to attend class and it's been um, a really interactive experience. So we work on projects both individually, but also on teams. So you're going to have a good amount of um, interaction with your classmates as well as the faculty. And one of the main reasons why I joined the, the UBIS DVA program was that I was committed to writing a good quality dissertation. And um, UBIS Acad Academics is really going to work closely with you to support you in writing your dissertation. So you're gonna produce a really good, high quality piece of, of research. And also UBIS is growing um, and developing really quickly. And I think it's gonna have a, a positive in fact, impact on your uh, professional life and help you to grow your international professional network. So I can attest that this experience is well worth the investment. So. That's my that's my ten cents. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Tom. you, Tom. Appreciate it. All right. Do we have any comments or anybody else that wants to uh, has a question? Ralph, if I may, uh, I have actually a small comment. Uh, I would love uh, to meet all the DBA students either here online or face to face on campus. Uh, my name is Ina. I'm handling business to business department in UBIS. And uh, I see now we connect uh, by nationalities. So <laughs> Ukrainians recruit Ukrainians. And now Mr. Roy will help from Lebanon side. It's really cool. <laughs> if we will engage all the 30 nationalities that are represented in UBIS, we can get a really big intake. But uh, uh, for DBA students, a like, small piece of advice, uh, guys connect with each other on LinkedIn. Uh, at UBIS, uh, uh, watch uh, YouTube channel of UBIS because we have some trial lessons and some recorded sessions that were done before with your colleagues, uh, more feedbacks you, you may find over there. And uh, uh, also in uh, UBIS, we have a uh, job teaser account that is uh, opened for you as soon as you are students. Uh, it's helping in terms of job opportunities in uh, Europe and Switzerland. And uh, you have a good piece of information out from this uh, channel where we announce, uh, you know, job positions. Uh, and also our professors, uh, they help you to get um, in touch with uh, good experts. Uh, so it's really big network that you are building in, in three sites uh, with administration, with professors and through the students that belong to your class. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Ina. Um, Raf, maybe I can just um, say a few words. Sure. Um, so guys, uh, one of the things that, you know, in terms of the interview process, I may have or may not have mentioned to you, and then kind of Ina has been very helpful in just reminding me about this. Um, in terms of supporting the, the DBA students, in terms of extracurricular activity, we actually have quarterly sessions. And what we do is we try and identify really kind of world-class speakers to come in and talk to you um, on subjects which are really relevant to the business community and the global economy. So, for example, the last uh, session we had in June was uh, Chris Rowley, one of the professors here from, from Oxford, and he came on and spoke on leadership in uncertain times. And that's, that's really, really powerful because this is something that's free for you guys, but it's something that we believe that um, it will really kind of support your, your, the learning outcomes. And we've got a thumbs up from Tom, and I think he enjoyed that, that class. Similarly, what we did, uh, we do is that we have the Research Institute. And this is something that uh, our academic, European academic Dean Viola is very kind of um, working very hard on, but she um, uh, is, is kind of developing um, our Research Institute. And this is an opportunity where you're able to spin out aspects of your research and actually publish publish that part of the, uh, that research. And we, we will support you in that process as well, even to working with you to identify the relevant journals. So again, these are just two little kind of um, extra pieces of information for you, but it just goes to show that, you know, really what we're trying to do to support our DBAs um, and their, their kind of aspirations. All right. Thank you, Stuart. I, 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 
if I may add to what you just said, Stuart, I think um, not that this is an obligation, for sure it's not, but uh, when you come to the DBA and you're starting to work on this piece of research, uh, you might think about how you're gonna either uh, publish the whole thing or more, more likely actually publish a number of different articles. And so one of the things you might think about is how, you know, depending on your topic, how you might be able to position different articles. And that gives you publications. So if you have any ambition to, you know, further your career professionally, but also maybe um, connected to academia, this is definitely something I, I could highly recommend. Thank you, Viola. I appreciate it. Okay, everyone, does anyone, uh, we have about 10 minutes to spare, I can, oh, I see a question from Ms. Patricia. How are you, Patricia? Good to see you. Hi, Rafael. How are you doing? Good, good, good. It's good to see you. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Good. So thank you. Thank you, um, Ubis. Thank you for um, the wonderful presentations. And I think I am living today with a better understanding of how, you know, uh, the whole DBA program is going to work. Um, I have a couple of questions just to, um, as a follow up with the conversation we had, I think, um, Dr. Stewart, we, when we had the last, um, I think, webinar or so, you, you introduced yourself and talked about some changes that uh, you were planning to you know, make to the curriculum. You know, just something to, you know, make it more exciting, a little bit more interactive. And you talked about um, us coming to, you know, having some, some modules or some sessions or a weekend class or something in Switzerland. Sure. Yeah. But to be honest, I, I really would like um, a face, at least one or two face-to-face -face interactions. I mean, throughout this COVID period, we've been doing everything online. So, I mean, if I have, if I, if I can look forward to a face-to-face -face interaction at some point in the program, that would really enhance the quality of, um, the program for me. So how, how, how far has that plan gone? Yeah, absolutely, Patricia. And you can see that there's already been a bit of face-to-face -face, uh, interaction. And Tom, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember exactly where you met. Where yeah, Sasha, I think it was in Philadelphia. But Yeah, we met in Philadelphia. And then he met uh, with Stu uh, Stephen in New York. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, you know, um, but Patricia, you're absolutely right. So it's all, everything is contingent on mobility. And um, in, in Europe right now, we're, we're still kind of in a lockdown phase. Um, uh, as far as I'm, I'm aware, I'm not allowed to travel to the United States, but I think uh, the cousins from across the pond can actually come to the UK. Um, but it's only recently that it, that the Europe has opened up and, and I can go to Geneva. But certainly you're absolutely right. In the future, you know, I think there's an opportunity for us to, to look into holding a class, you know, over a long weekend where everybody flies into either Geneva or Barcelona. Uh, and then we can actually, you know, use that opportunity to both kind of have some classes on the ground, but also to socialize as well and, and to actually get to know people in a, a more kind of uh, intimate environment. But again, as I say, um, that's contingent on the how things are going. Um, I know, for example, uh, just speaking from my own experiences, um, my partner and I went on vacation uh, uh, the week before last. She had both her COVID jabs and she caught COVID when we were away. So, uh, yeah, exactly. So that kind of put um, that kind of put the the, the thing on that uh, vacation. But but anyway, the world is changing. Hopefully, you know, we'll we'll get over this horrible disease and you know the vaccinations will be rolled out and you know it's a global aspiration. Um, and in, in the future, we can meet face to face. And I, and, I, and I think it is important to understand that we, as all you have heard from testimonial from some of our students and from our faculty had to say, we challenge the boundaries of traditional online education by making sure that we still provide you with a one-on-one -on -one interaction, live discussions, uh, writing discussions and participation to ensure that you still get that networking and that opportunity to learn from each other. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. So I have a second question. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Um, I, I just wanted to add to what Rafael said that once you're in class, most of the time you'd actually feel like you're in a lecture hall because everybody's video is on, everybody's interacting. So you don't really miss it. But obviously it would happen at the point, but you will definitely get that impact like you're in class. It's, it's mostly like that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Jennifer. I, 
I, I agree with Jennifer, actually. Like, I feel like I, I have to remind myself that I actually haven't personally face-to-face -face met a lot of my students because we interact and talk, like, a lot online and we have group projects and stuff like that. And I, I sometimes have to remind myself, like, oh, I haven't actually been in the same room with this person, but I've gotten to know everybody, um, you know, reasonably well and 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 more and more as it's as, as time's going on it's really funny patricia because um when uh chris rowley gave the talk on, on on certain leadership chris and i were both based in oxford and i haven't seen him for two years <laughs> so we actually met online even though we're literally 30 minutes away you know across the city so it is what it is yeah thanks so this is my second question is about um so access to like a library, an online library, you know, where, would we, where would we have access? Do we have access to like um, UBIS library? Where, yes. How do we do our research and all that? Absolutely. So as I was saying, uh, students have access, which is, I, I, I'm glad you brought this point because it's, I'm going to bring it up again, even though I sound like a broken record. It is important that you end up fulfilling and finish all your process when it comes to fulfilling uh, all your requirements for admissions. So we can make sure and ensure that you have access to all the different platforms. Within the Moodle platform, you have access to the Sengage International, which will give you access to a lot of magazines, publications, skills, cell, soft skills, uh, a soft skill center where you can, again, I mean, enhance your skills. And also their learn database where you will have access to books, journals, publications, case studies, magazines, um, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, on top of that, your book is included with your program too. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks a lot, um, Rafael. So, no more questions. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, everyone? Okay. Well, we have about... Oh, anybody else? Have something. Yeah, just one. I just want to... I would like to, to add something. Uh, uh, outside of... Uh, I can hear you guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Just to... All right. Um, so, uh, as a, an alum, alumnus of UBIS, as well as a, a faculty um, uh, for the uh, UBIS DBA program in Vietnam, um, just, uh, just a hint. Uh, I think, um, like Ina uh, said, it, it's a special experience and, and also an, an important one to uh, have connection network with each other. Um, for uh, DBA students, we have a cohort of uh, about 20 students, I think, in Vietnam, and we connect every month. Uh, it's called a um, coffee morning um, because uh, motivation and inspiration is important for, for our DBA program and your, your own progress as well. And we also organize something called a, a DBA uh, research uh, uh, club on um, on WhatsApp, uh, and you guys are invited um, if you'd like. And it's steered more now uh, towards sustainability and uh, social uh, responsibility um, and corporate governance. Uh, but if you are interested um, and would like to talk to also experts, uh, from UNDO, for example, they also join, um, so you can find inspiration, uh, ideas for your projects. That's all for me. Thanks, Tanam. And Thank I've had the pleasure of, of uh, engaging with the, uh, the students and their amazing bunch of, of students. So thanks, Tanam. Great. Thank you. Well, this has been very interactive. I really appreciate it. Everybody jumping in. So, okay, now officially we do have three minutes to spare. Uh, I know it's Friday now, Friday, and the body knows it. So I appreciate all of you taking the time, uh, being here with us, embarking in this journey with us. We cannot wait to see uh, your dissertation proposals. We cannot wait to see you across the stage at graduation and one day hopefully meet face-to-face -face or still 
continue to interact with each other throughout our Brady Bone Squares here on Zoom. Uh, again, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be in touch, ensuring that you have everything ready before orientation. And God bless and have a great time. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Have a nice weekend. Bye, everyone.